gave bro a one tap to the noggin span around shot both his partner's kneecaps out and then head shot at that boy today we are here to introduce the fader verse <laughs> the fader verse is a verse created by the jutsu mafia of straight dogs menaces and black air force characters and now a new black air force candidate has arrived to try and attain citizenship into the fader verse so y'all get your popcorn get your drinks and have them toes curl because you know what time it is all right so we all know the handgun menaces you got your james bonds your tom cruises jason Bourne, and things of that nature but today we introduce my number one the human aim by himself baba yaga john wick so let's get going So yeah, in the beginning when we are first exposed to our boy John here, we already know first off he has some trauma, boy. Bro spamming flashback animations, posing in the mirror, spamming more flashback animations. And I low-key feel bad for dude because it looks like his shawty just got tarnished by some of that plot illness cheese. Shawty done got greased by COVID-19. After the funeral, my guy just standing there like, dang shawty. You was the one too. Then he done ran into Mr. Osborne from Spider-Man. Like, what are you doing here, my guy? I'm pretty sure Green Goblin is not suited for this verse. He is way too OP. And here's where we meet the main character of this arc, the dog. Somehow his late shawty had some post-mortem nin technique and knew he would be tarnished when she died. So she got him a dog, Daisy. Bro, I can't even lie. My first time watching this and I'm like, bro, this old lame arthritis walking nigga is selling. Where's the action? But little did I know what was to come. Looking back, I should have known though. Keanu Reeves never disappoints. Neo for president, 2024. Anyways, John and the dog went out to run some errands. Then it happens. The hooligans pull up, or should I say the ops? And look who we have here. Freaking Theon Greyjoy. If this nigga is anything like Theon from Game of Thrones, we already know he finna sell some way, somehow. He starts pressing John Wick about his whip trying to buy it but john knows the car is gonna be worth a bag in the future so he ain't hearing it and here the black air force tensions began to rise but he started sneak Oops, dissing john in russian expensive. but didn't know john is a human google translate and got roasted oh, right back later that night that boy john trying to catch some z's but that dang dog that interrupted the slumber and right here i just Are knew something fishy right now, was bro? going on it's too quiet, boy. John walks down them stairs just to see thing one and thing two posing like someone stole their Lunchables. Then Doodle Bob number three cracks Brody across his dome piece. They start just jumping him viciously for no reason. Got John over here hitting high notes. Like these goofies over here committing five-star GTA villainry. Daisy tried to run off to safety, then gets one tap by one of the ops. And look at these eyes. These are the eyes of someone who is finna get it back in blood. Cause how y'all just gonna murk my boy dog like that after his shawty just died? The op stands over my nigga John, pulls down the shiesty. Oh, nah. I know that ain't that boy Theon. what I tell you? Them dang Greyjoys are some hoes for real, for real. And then he sights John dead in his nose. Three hours later. He wakes up from that melatonin shot to the nose just to see his dog laid beside him on zero HP. But since he ain't have no more self revives and the gulag was closed, he had to bury her old girl. R.I.P. our nigga Daisy. She did her thing out there. Once again, John has been holed in the span of a couple days and he tired of the BS. He looking like me after somebody eat my leftovers out the fridge. The three hooligans pull up to pimp my ride, trying to swap the V and the tags and Theon talking that cash while my boy right here trying to tell them what they done got themselves into. Cause that turbocharged Mustang sitting right there. Yeah. That belonged to a dog. And then he meets <coughs> Buddy right across his face and sent them boys on their way because he does not want any smoke with that boy John. Hours passed and the lead op called Buddy asking him why his son got stuck like that. Well, okay, let me tell you. First off, your son is a doodle bob. He stole John Wick's car and killed that nigga dog. Oh, I see. Oh, dude said John Wick and that jump struck that spiritual pressure straight down the lead op spine. Oh, Look no, at him no. looking flabbergasted. Midi Ball arrives on scene, once again thinking he's the coolest thing since sliced bread. His dad greeted him with a drink and then hit him with a hump no, dead I to the gut. Yeah, you played yourself, my son. Get your tail up, nigga. What? I just stole a car is all, pops. <laughs> <laughs> this boy thinks he's funny. You goofy. It's not what you did, but it's who you did it to. Yeah. 
that nigga John Wick. Right here, our boy John got one of the coldest entrances in movie history. Because as it pans back and forth from him to his ops, all you hear is his ops glazing him. Talking about one of the times he faded some niggas in a bar with only a number two pencil. Which if we speaking personally, wouldn't be me though. The lead op goes on to explain to his son how John Wick is him. And that he just woke up the boogeyman. And look at this goofy. Father, I can make this right. Bro really thought he cooked with that bar. Get him out of here. The lead op grabbed his son and whispered to him that nigga John is coming. And you will do nothing because you will only get murked anyways. Capiche? After John done finished maxing out his mats, his op called him. And he just sat there listening, not saying a word. As his ops pleaded for mercy for his son, then he hung up on that goofy. We're going to need backup, my boy. We got to pack him up. That nigga trip. It switches back. And John over here getting ready to get put in the edit. Because ain't no way this nigga looking this clean just to fade these low tier doodle bobs. You would think the suit is the last thing you would put on. Like, where are your plates? You're going in. No shield is crazy. But go stupid, my guy. The ops pull up to John's spot on timing. And I guess everyone just got his location. That man Theon must have leaked it. Because they got the place around it. Like, they got the blueprint to that mug. And now it's time to go on that new kill streak. Because John picks up that blicky and went straight to the shadows. Bro moving like Batman, for real, for real. He was just in the bedroom. And now he just done arose in the kitchen. And got an easy quad kill. Gave bro a one tap to the noggin, span around, shot both his partner's kneecaps out, and then headshotted that boy. Then turned on the last two with his aimbot hack straight to the dome. And we're gonna throw up a little kill counter, cause I really wanna see what kind of kill streak bro went on in his crib. He jumps over the rail like me running from the neighborhood pit bull, then sat bro down gracefully. 10 out of 10, standing ovation. And with that, we already had a five kill streak. John unlocks his UAV. Turns the corner and puts one in this doodle bob too. Then gonna back off and reload his gun. Mind you, this fool is using this ammo as efficiently as possible. No missed shots. Every bullet equals damage to these doodle bobs. Anyways, he swooshes around the corner staggering bro. Then they done started playing tug of war. At least until John broke him on his neck. Shot his lurking partner in the face. Then turned back, broke his arm, then shot him in the noggin. And again, why are we posing like this John? But I guess these burglars got they shysties from Timu that D tier quality. Cause ain't no way these goofies ain't see John standing out in the open like that. Well, he made them pay. Shot dude body, jumped on him, then shot his boy midair. Then body rolled this boy into oblivion, finishing both of them off with a headshot. This doodle bar right here thought he was slick, trying to get behind cover. To no avail though. Cause bro started spamming the hood nigga pose while shooting. Knowing this form only gives you like 20% accuracy. That jump never works. John pieced that boy up, boomed him through the window, reloaded, then put a finishing round through his face. I guess Brody wanted him a snack, then wandered into the kitchen just to get snuck by two green vests. And honestly, this is your best case scenario when fighting John Wick. You definitely want to throw hands with this goofy, because how in the world is anyone getting through those aimbot hacks? So even though these goofies right here are still getting cooked to well done, they at least got him tired out for the next round of bots. Bro really just went on an easy 10 kill streak and then maxed out his 5.7 pistol. Bro really just getting all these headshots so he can get that diamond camo. He even got 12 in check. Dude pulled up and saw all them bodies and was like, have a good day, Mr. Wick. Trying to avoid getting put on a t-shirt himself by any means possible. No AMP. And with that outstanding performance, we conclude arc one. Not only have we seen that John Wick is a dog with combat, but we also see he is willing to get it back in blood for his loved ones. Once again, RIP our nigga OG Daisy. So before we get into the next arc, all we see is the grimy lead op trying to make a deal with old Green Goblin right here. What a two mil bounty on John Noggin. Turns out Osborne is a top hitman sniper in the verse. And may I say, they are doing all this for one nigga. This man John is different, but he had to switch up the scenery because his crib was compromised and pulls up to the Continental, which is like this safe haven hotel for all the assassins, bounty hunters, and people like that, where no fading is permitted on the premises. So here's where we go into the next arc. So John starts gearing up, and it looks like this man is carrying around a whole armory. Bro done maxed out all his loadouts and is about to pull up on old Theon, who is on a witness protection right now trying to avoid John's tarnishment. He gets to the back entrance and pulled the blicky on the security light. Long time no see my boy. Are you 
here for business, my guy. Yeah, go ahead and dip out for me. Bet, bet. After punking the security, he slid on homie who whacked on huh? with that bat earlier. Bro caught a mean calm to the nose and he already leaking. Like, dang, my guy. Face made of glass, ain't it? Bro got heated and really tried to swing that slow haymaker on John just to get sent to his knee. Got him looking like Kaepernick. Where that little goofy Theon? Downstairs, bro, chill. Come on now, dog. You could have at least stuck it out and didn't sell your boy out. You should have known John is going to kill you regardless. Bro went out sad, got his neck broke in the dressing room with his meat out, then look at John emoting while walking out. And I'm really confuzzled right here. Cause how these fools supposed to have a whole perimeter going on, but John is just casually greasing these boys with no trace. Like you ain't even have to do buddy like this, John. Then gonna have a staring contest with him to finish him off. I guess bro didn't renew his sneaking badge and ended up getting spotted and boomed out of cover. But he filleted old buddy. One tap the incoming bot all while staring at his op. And just when it looks like it's up for Lil Theon, this trend wizard came out the water just to catch a knife to the clavicle. Got his foot smashed. Then John played filling the blank across this boy body with the blicky. I'm not gonna lie though, John. You sold with this. I get you trying to make the movie more entertaining, but you can't be just toggling your aim bot on and off. How you gonna go from 100% accuracy, then sell to 10% when the kill means the most? Shaking my head. Despicable. Now bro panicking over here running through this club while John just disposing of the mid party. He went through that hallway with some pep in his step. Turned that corner, gave bro right here two to the gut, then his partner one to the head. Then called backboard on this one, making him ricochet off the decor. But he not done. G check this fool, flipped him, headshot. Ethel chops buddy right here. Got him dazed like this is the UFC. Reloaded ever so gently. Headshot. Two tap. Two tap. Ooh, woo. Man's is really going for his chain kill emblem. Bro must really think I can't see him. He shot out buddy ACL. Got him exposed. Then violated him. Dude spinned around on his back. Caught buddy. Two tap. Two more bots. Then came back to finish his plate with another headshot. What's crazy is, as he's doing all this, these pedestrians just think they super sans because this evacuation process is horrendous. Right here though, this guard was exposing John for having no hands for real and spamming that aimbot. Beast boy up and threw him off the railing. I don't know how he getting up and walking off unscathed. He made it all the way back to the hotel to pull him up a glass of hen dog to get ready for the next scuffle while John catching some Z's off that drink. Osborne pulled up to collect his pay with the sniper when he saw someone else was pulling up on John. So he gave him a warning shot, and now John activated his defensive badges, then gets into this mid-ball fade with old shawty. John tired of the games and went ahead and packed her up immaculately. That boy went stupid until, hey nigga, put them hands where I can see them. Hey, is that you, Larry? Ah, oh, what's up, John? Handling business? Yeah, I just had to pack this goofy up. Well, you be safe now, John boy. It switches and John then pulled up to the ops hideout, violated his crew, then burned all that nigga money. Brody gonna have to file bankrupt after this spade. Before we get into arc number three, thank y'all goofies for 20k subs. We really going up. So John has literally wiped his butt with all these ops up to this point and he's finally at the last destination. John pulled up on the lead op and got into one of those turf war scuffles. Bro just trying to max out his last couple loadouts before killing the sun, but John got too greedy. Got mauled by that Escalade, laid that boy out like some clothes on an iron. He wakes up just to be surrounded by his ops like they finna run a train on him. These goofies really over here in interrogation mode on John Wick. Like bro, he just burned all your wealth off him see this is gonna be your downfall bro over here dissing john late shawty and his dog and john started snapping dude show his first real bit of emotion then gave one of the hardest lines right before getting that grocery bag put over his face but guess who shows up yeah that boy osborne pulled up and saved that boy john so he could get his fair ones on the nigga from the club because that boy was really running his pockets but in this fade fade me once shame on me fade me twice shame on you he made his escape and pulled up on the lead op for the last time like where your son goofy freak you bruh but yeah he's at 314 doodle bob drive he's about three blocks down <laughs> that crazy dude really just sold out his son bruh 
Bro went back to the crib and had to roll himself up a fat one for the day. And while this goofy right here trying to max out his prestige, the infamous pub stumper, Mr. Wick, <laughs> FMJ round straight through that boy cranium and continued to grease all the other guards. They thought they was finna escape, but that boy booby trapped the cars with them C4s he had saving in his loadout. Got little Theon over here flabbergasted. John put one in his gut, walked up to him, and bro really thought he was finna get some words in. John offed him and didn't even waste a breath on that nigga. Then walked out emoting once again. This time they blurred up the background and put bro in a mini edit. The lead op just there tarnished knowing his son just got packed. And I can't lie. This last fight between John and the lead op was kind of mid ball. So we just gonna fast forward past that. Just know it ended up like this. After packing up all his ops, he hobbled away and broke into this pet lab where he boom gained one of the dogs while looking for a med kit to get back to 50 HP. And with that, y'all now know of Baba Yaga. 500 likes and John enters the Fatal Verse. Jutsu Mafia. Hidden technique. Peace.